morning, good afternoon. I don't really know what time it is right now. Um, I hope you guys are having a great weekend. I know we are. Um, we are down in Wabasha, Minnesota, which is about a two-hour drive from our house in the Twin Cities. Um, we are going to do um, the natural, sorry, the National Eagle Center down here. Um, we come down here pretty much every year with my dad. My dad's a huge eagle enthusiast. Um, we've been down here when they released eagles. We've done. Um, it, it's not really a zoo or just a center to go see everybody. They do a lot of research. They do a lot of rehabilitation. Um, they raise money to rescue and restore and help eagles get back out into their natural habitat. So come along on our newest adventure. So we had to make a reservation to come here today. Um, so our reservation's at two o'clock Central Standard Time. And we, hold on, I can take this off because there's nobody by me. Um, in order to get in, you have to make advanced reservations. There are um, times to get in are at 10, 12, two, and four. Um, their hours, I believe, are 10 to 5.30. Um, it was $10 for adults, it's $9 for veterans, it's $7 for kids. Um, and anybody under the age of three is free. Um, I'm really excited. I love coming down here with my family. As you can see, we're right off the Mississippi River. Um, there's a bunch of lakes that are around us. The reason we're called the Land of 10,000 Lakes. Um, there's a very beautiful band out here playing. Um, it's a very relaxing atmosphere right now because everybody's just sitting by watching. Ooh, that was a beat. You can tell. Um, I'm really excited to go in, but this is such a beautiful spot to sit and do and just relax. This is really cool. It's made of 24 karat gold and silver. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at this view. Okay, so this is really cool. Descendants of Eagles. 
Many governments and countries have inherited the eagle of Rome's power. The ooh, the legacy of Rome's powerful eagle. Isn't that pretty? The human American eagle. Twelve thousand five hundred officers, nurses, and men of Camp Gordon, Atlanta, Georgia. Major General George Cameron, commander. Isn't that pretty? Okay, let's see what this is. What U.S. Federal Department used the symbol of a running pony until 1970? Oh, the post office. have a license plate like that, but then somebody crashed into my car. It's a turkey. Okay, so if it works, it'd be really cool. They give you eagle feathers, all these eagle feathers here. And they want you to find the parts of the bird, but their screen isn't working today, so that sucks. Even Wonder Woman has the eagle right on her uniform. So just so everybody knows, I do ask permission from the people um, from the people who work here to video to do these videos um, before I actually do them. And I'll talk to the cons cons oh, the people who handle the eagles if it's okay to do that. Um, I just want everybody's permission before I just randomly start shooting videos in their facilities. These are cool. Finally entered the 1900s. Oh, we hit the 1930s. people who have donated quite a bit of money to this place. See if mom can do it here. Ready? Oh, nice. mom got up to 40. Hold on. Press the button to see the eagle's grip strength. Holy criminies. Oh, it hasn't gone there yet. Where's it going to stop? Oh, it does. Look at that. Go get daddy. Let's see how strong daddy is. Just squeeze it, Adam. Okay, that's where Alex got. Okay, that's pretty strong. We already knew that.
Can you explain this one to me? See how long my son's arms are. Go up. Oh. He is halfway between a bald eagle and a red tailed hawk. <laughs> Mom, sir, how long do you think my arms are out? I don't know. Yes, are they kind of ready? Oh, almost to the condor thing. Can you take a picture? Okay. <laughs> She's about Mommy's a red-tailed red hawk. Red-tailed hawk. Mommy's almost as big. Nope, we're gonna do how big are Adam's arms. So Adam's are just as long as a contour, a red-tailed hawk. Sorry. Cool. Look at how big this is. Holy crap! Alex, go get in it with Adam. Harley, get in it. Nope, stand up, Adam. Come on, Harley. Come on, Harley. Harley, I can't see you. Boys, stand over against that wall. No, Adam, let your sister go. Ready? Oh cool, these are the different types of eagles in the different types of parts of the country. So these guys are from um, South America, Central America, Mexico. We have these bad boys in Africa. He goes here. Yeah, honey. Found a shell. Found a shell. Yep. I bet something that can eat the No, he, they started making noise, and he ran over to the window, said a not nice word, and then ran in there, grabbed a glove, and started shutting all of them. So obviously there's something out there It's like predatory, and they don't want them taking off to injure the people in the room. I bet, I've been here enough times and seen it enough times. Yeah. We'll ask him when he comes back out here. Oh, it's okay. that terrifies yeah, them. That's, that's about the it. the biggest thing that they're scared of, of our human world. I suppose because it just doesn't make sense yeah. to them. Makes sense. Yeah. Thank you. Enjoy your visit. Yeah. Yes. We were to bring that in here, things would escalate quickly, especially with Washaka the other day. They would, they would be posturing, they'd be hissing, they'd be vocalizing, and everyone's stress level would be going up significantly. So in order to introduce a new bird, it would be a very long, gradual ride. time at the Eagle Center today. Um, we learned a lot about eagles, um, things that I never knew. Um, I think one of the things that I love about this place is that there's so much, everybody who works here absolutely loves eagles and they're there to take care of and make sure they're okay. Um, I ended up turning off my camera um, 
while we were seeing the eagles because they're actually afraid of it and one of them started really not liking it so i turned it off and i just enjoyed the time with my family um thank you for coming along on our adventure today and remember adventure is out there so go for your adventure Thank you.